hey you guys welcome back to my channel so today i was thinking i would share with you guys what is on my christmas wish list and the reason why i got to this point is because my kids and you guys know my two sons are older they were asking me all day yesterday and today mom what is on your christmas basically what is on my christmas wish list basically they were saying what do i want <laughs> And so I hadn't really thought about it because when it's Christmas time, I don't really think about myself. I'm always thinking about others and what I want to get others in the family, my kids or whoever. Um, and so I was sitting there today and I was like, what would I want? And I started looking around. I was like, usually through the year when there's something that I want, whether it's a shirt, a sweater or whatever, I'll just get it when I feel like getting it so by this time of the year there's really nothing that I want but I did find some stuff <laughs> so some of this is going to be things that I, I really really would want but it's kind of like an unrealistic Christmas list because some of the stuff is very pricey so I'm gonna start this off for you guys and you know just show you or tell you the things that I want for Christmas so the first thing I would ask for is the bond number nine sampler set oh my goodness I think somewhere on the screen I'll put what it costs and that way you guys will understand why I'm saying this is a realistic slash unrealistic Christmas list so these are now bond number nine I've always wanted to sample a lot of their fragrances because when they had a few in Marshalls in the past and I bought two bottles because they were uh, really, really reasonably priced. Like one of the bottles was normally like four or five hundred or something like that. I think I think about three, four, five hundred. And so when they were at Marshalls, they were only like 50, 60 bucks. So I picked up one and it smelled so good. And I knew that it was going to sell out that I ended up going back and picking up a second bottle to have in my stash. So bond number nine is one of those fragrances that I wish I could sample and smell them all before knowing and knowing which one that I would actually want to purchase because without smelling them, I don't know which one I would want to, you know, purchase. And this would be an expensive investment because a bottle of their perfume is really, really pricey. So to get the sampler box would be ideal for me, but it is very, I wouldn't say very expensive, but it is pricey. It is pricey. <laughs> and I bet probably out of maybe 20 of the perfumes you get in that box, I probably would only like about three or four <laughs> and that sucks. So, um, yeah, so that would be item number one. Item number two would be the Wu-Tang lipstick set we'll take now first of all if you follow me on instagram you saw like maybe a few days ago or a week ago i put up the collection that wu-tang yes wu-tang clan did with milk cosmetics and oh my goodness i love wu-tang <laughs> from way 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 back and so when I saw this collection, I was like, oh, I want one of them. And I was thinking, okay, I'll just get a, a lipstick or something like that. But I think the lipsticks, the singles are going for like 50 something bucks. And so I figured, hey, why not get the whole set? So there's a whole set that they have is really really pretty it's just one of those things like i said it's not an investment but it's just one of those things that you just want and it is pricey i mean even if i had a million dollars sitting in my bank account i would still probably be like oh i want that but nah because it's just you know it's nice but i don't know i don't know if i will purchase that so I'm going to say that is item number two because it's really, really cool. Um, and to have that, maybe I'll one day give in and get one of the lipsticks. But for now, I would go with the whole set. But unrealistically, I'm going to say I would go with the whole set. But realistically, I would just take one of the lipsticks. So that is item number two. Number three. So I really, really love Tyler, the Creator's little uh flower converse that he did uh you know his little collab that he did and it's really really hard every time he drops them it was hard for me to get my hands on them they sell out so fast and he has a variety of colors and then when i was able to find a set 
I mean a color it was like a color that I didn't want so uh, if I could I would go with some of his shoes which he has some really cute pastel like colors so I really want a pair of Tyler the Creator's shoes so that is number three that's on my number three and then there's two other tennis shoes that i really really like it's these blue um are they like they're like air max and that's not what they are but i can't think of the name right now and they are like this aqua blue oh my god they are so pretty i know you're looking at them but they are so pretty and i want them and when i find shoes like this they are so hard to find i don't know i just have this thing with finding or wanting hard to find things i don't know why <laughs> how it ends up like that but i would love to have one of those uh, well a pair of those shoes and then also uh these other nikes that um they're throwbacks to I remember when they came out years and years ago and then you know how they bring stuff back well they're back they've been back but these these specific ones has like these pastel colors and they are Nikes and they have the pastels uh, colors around them like pink yellow blue green it's just so cute so those are also on my want list okay so I think we're on number four this next item is just something that one of these days i will make an investment in it i i don't know i just been procrastinating but i want an apple uh laptop i do and i i i don't really need it right now i think the only reason why i want one is because i want the editing software that comes with it uh i think that i want to give it a try and you know and i just i really like apple so i'm gonna say if i could my 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 electronic purchase that i would i would want would be the apple mac laptop or do i want the one that i keep saying i want the table you know like the whole setup but nah i like to be able to take my laptop with me everywhere so i would just go with the apple laptop the next item would be and there's two different ones that i've been having my eyes on it's the b collection for gucci oh my goodness when this first dropped i was in love with the big bumblebees on the back of the bags or the purses and i really like the backpacks so there's two styles uh, that you're seeing that i really really like and so and i think they even have the slides like the little slippers or whatever those were cute too but i definitely would love to put my hands on one of the b collection backpacks by gucci the next thing on my wish list would be a trip to jamaica <laughs> yes i need at this point in my life i need that trip i've traveled before like i said before i've been to new york frisco um a few places uh indianapolis but i need to go to jamaica i'm ready to relax uh and yeah i just need that now i could have went already i've i'm sure i could have been there already you guys what one thing that you probably don't know about me i think i talked about it before even though i traveled before it's really really hard it takes a lot mentally for me to travel because i am terrified of airplanes i hate airplanes i don't want to get in an airplane i remember vividly when i traveled to new york it took like five hours that was the worst experience <laughs> ever the the plane ride was fine once i got there and then when i had to make sure that i made myself come back home and get back on another plane you know it's just you know it took a lot out of me mentally i don't know what it is i don't know why it's just just this fear of flying i hate airplanes so i'm sure i could have been to jamaica but something in me is stopping me from going but that is on my wish list now if somebody was to purchase me some tickets to go to jamaica then i guess i would have to go <laughs> but yeah that that's really what's stopping me but uh jamaica would definitely be on that list the next thing on my list would be this a set of the juvia's palettes oh my goodness those palettes are so nice i have one already and i love it the colors are so pigmented they're just so pretty and if i'm not mistaken she just dropped another one for the holidays but unfortunately i was not able to find it online 
I don't know why I have seen a few people talk about it but I don't know if it's already dropped or it's coming for the new year I'm not too sure but I would definitely love that palette as well but if I could I would get six of or I think I have since I have one I need the other five palettes uh, that would definitely be on my list the next thing would be an Apple watch uh, do I need an Apple watch no not really but I think you know I was looking into it I was researching it and I think what you can do is like you can talk on your phone through your watch so you don't have to hold it up to your ear and all of that so if they have that feature on there that would definitely sell me right um, I, I just need to do some research if you have an Apple watch let me know if you love it can I talk on my phone through my watch? Do I can I leave my phone in my backpack? <laughs> Let me know that. So that's on the list as well. And the next item will be a Range Rover 2018 Range Rover Super Sport. Those trucks are so Oh my god, I couldn't say pretty or nice. They are amazingly beautiful. I love that truck. Now, it's just something that I want, but if I, if let's just say I hypothetically won the lottery tomorrow and somebody said, well, what's your first car going to be? That would definitely be it. That would be it. So I'm going to go with that. And the last thing on my wish list, and it's going to be really weird, is a baby fox. <laughs> Yes, I said a baby fox. If I could have a any pet that I wanted and, you know, and it would be, you know, not against regulations for having a wild animal in my home, I would want a baby fox. I think they are so adorable. They are so cute. I know they are not domesticated before somebody gets on me. This is just an unrealistic want. It will be a baby fox. They are so cute. So, so cute. Um, I would want a, a baby panda, a baby cheetah, a baby lion. <laughs> I could go on. I love animals. So, but I'll, I'll probably pick a fox over everything. So that is it for my Christmas wish list. Um, some of the things are unrealistic, I know. But I thought it was fun to kind of think of some of the things that I would want that are obtainable. And then, you know, I was just like the fox. Like, I know I can't have a fox. But it was fun to think of what if I could. <laughs> so what is on your wish list? What do you have on that list that if you could have, tell me in the comment section one realistic thing that you really want and something that is unrealistic that you probably really want but you probably just will not get or you know maybe it's too pricey or maybe it's like a fox i don't know tell me the two things that you really you know that will be on your list uh so that is it and if anybody else wants to join in and put up their christmas wish list make sure you come back and let me know so i can watch it uh and to everybody else thank you for watching and i'll talk to you in my next video bye